Hello everybody. Uh, today's video, just wanted to show y'all what I was doing so far. Um, I ended up replacing a uh, piece of drywall over here because this was actually a hole that was right here. And you can see that this has this uh, popcorn texture on it. So figured why not go ahead and get rid of this popcorn texture over here. I wanted to go ahead and smooth out this side. You can see the top of this right here. I actually didn't do this, but since it's here, I wanna go ahead and smooth that out as well. Same with this side too. It was just like this, so. Yeah, so you can see I got the plaster up here. Not, uh, not great, but it's enough up here for me to go ahead put on this tape so this tape already comes basically pre folded so you can already see it's folded right in the middle so it'll be pretty easy for me to just go ahead put it up here just like this because the plaster is already up there this will go ahead and stick After getting that down, what I want to do next is go ahead, get my putty knife, go ahead and uh, just, you know, flatten it out. I'm gonna keep some plaster up there after I put the tape up there. I'm gonna put a little more plaster up there, but at the same time, I don't wanna to put too much because it could end up making the paper like crumble up. It'll have like little bubbles in it or something like that. It just uh, gets too much moisture. So I would have to come back and then once it's completely up here, dry, then I can go ahead and put more plaster up here, more joint compound to go ahead and make sure that you can't see the tape anymore. You can see how it looks going up. Just enough. I'm gonna be smoothing out this entire spot instead of having some of this be smooth. Might as well smooth out the entire wall right there. Same thing with this. You can see how that looks going straight up. So really I just got that right here. For the top, doing the same thing as I did on this side. So use this plaster, then go ahead, get the tape, put it on, a little more plaster after that, let it dry. Yeah, a little better. And 
and it just looks a lot more different a lot more it looks a lot different than what it was before you know so i'm happy with it like i said next thing there is to do is just go ahead and start getting rid of this texture oh, these textured walls you think that look will ever come back the popcorn walls let me know in the comment section technically i don't really have to do that because you know nobody's really gonna see this and this could be something that be that's done at a different day but for this video i'm gonna go ahead and do this So at the top, come down. Not gonna worry about trying to spread it out as much as I can. I wanna have as much as I can up here and then just keep going up and down. And essentially, I'm gonna have a lot of a joint compound on this particular wall. That's how I'm gonna be doing this. Honestly, because I got the bucket right here and I got my smaller uh putty knife i probably ain't gonna be using that one to hold the plaster up because it's gonna take more time so i want to get the joint compound on the wall versus anything else and then i'll worry about smoothing it out so might not even use this the bigger one go ahead and use the small one get some scoops up here and then go ahead and get this stuff up here. Like I said, just gotta get it up here as fast as I can. And then worry about smoothing it out later. So I'm gonna just do that much for right now. All right, and then we focus on smoothing this out. No hand corns. One thing I want to do is stop here, show you how it looks as far as you can see that it's pretty smooth. And it didn't take that much time. It did take a good amount of uh, joint compound though. But uh, yeah. So when I sit here and you know you let that dry, then you can go ahead after that. You sand it and then it'll look perfectly fine. So yeah, I don't have to do this whole wall right now, but uh, like I said, you know, you look at a comparison to how one side looks to the other and you can tell that there's a big difference. It looks a lot different. So yeah, uh, so everybody, hopefully that helped you out with on how to, you know, plaster your walls and i will come up with something else for y'all to see pretty soon like i said with that wall on this side and uh essentially i was talking about whether or not i wanted to go ahead essentially wet this wall and then you know scrape it off versus just putting plaster over it uh and all i see it just seems like it'll be faster it might be more expensive but faster to just put plaster over it. But uh, even, even I don't even know if it's uh, more expensive for that, you know, cause you're taking the, the pla you're taking this off, right? You're taking off the, 
popcorn texture. And then you gotta clean it up. And then you gotta put plaster back on the wall anyway, cause you know, you still gotta get rid of the seams and stuff like that. So I don't know. It might just be easier for me to just not deal with not deal with that. You know what I'm saying? So mm, I don't know. Either way, thanks for watching. Uh this kitchen back here, I'm gonna be doing some renovations on that. Uh, probably gonna be doing a little bit, not too many renovations, but did something on this side. I ended up putting these uh, ceiling fans, ceiling fans. I ended up putting these these lights up in here. So I might, if I didn't, oh man, I should have recorded that, but I don't think I did. But at any rate, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing a lot in here. Gonna be doing a lot more, and I'll record the rest of it. So hopefully y'all find it useful, entertaining, whatever. And I'll see y'all in the next video.